Hi everybody, this is Luke and yes, this is a condenser microphone. This guy is 15 years old. He helped me through a lot of situations, one of which was my master thesis when I trained a speech recognition system. And he has held out until today. It is a co-property of me and my best friend. He is a sound engineer and today will be in charge of handling this video clip's audio. So thank you Andrew for your wonderful job. And to you guys, let me know if you can feel some improvement in the audio quality. That said, let's move to the main topic. This will be the part 2 of my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I will put a direct link up here, so go check it out. Basically, I try to answer a simple question. How much battery will be left after 10 kilometers on a Befang 500 watt mid-drive kit? Actually, the kilometers were 10.7, corresponding to 6.5 miles. The battery I am referring to is a 36 volt green cell uh, 15.6 ampere hour battery. Now allow me to make a small clarification about my Bafang motor. Yes guys, it is a 500 watt motor, not 750, even if it's still a BBS 02B. For those of you who didn't know yet, this model of Bafang mid drive kit comes in both 500 and 750 watt. The motor is basically the same, but the controller attached to it, which is part of the mid-drive motor itself, comes in both versions. The 501 also comes in two configurations, 36 and 48 volts. Okay, now that this is clarified, some of you have asked in the comments to do the same experiment again, but this time throttle only. That captured my interest, so I decided to do a video about it. Another thing that you asked me in the comments is very important. I'm sorry I didn't realize it before. I never mentioned anything about the weight. The weight is a main factor when determining the autonomy of the battery. So, for the sake of completeness, I decided to measure the weight of both the e-bike, all of it, battery and motor included, and myself, with my everyday backpack included. As you see, all considered, the motor is responsible of pushing 109 kg of weight that is slightly more than 140 pounds. This time, instead of making a copycat video, I decided to just show you the result. So, there you go. In the previous video, in pedal assist mode, we passed from 42 to 39.6 volts, consuming 20% of the battery. This time, for the same distance, same terrain and same speed, throttle only, we went down to 37.9 volts consuming a little more than 34% of the battery. This is a 70% increase in the consumption compared to the pedal assist mode. Now I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Did you expect those results? Did you expect more consumption or maybe less? If you want, you can share your experience by putting a comment down below. Also with a different e-bike. I may eventually take inspiration to make one of my future videos on this channel. Before leaving, I want to explain you why I went so deep with the Befang analysis instead of giving the same cover to my equivalent Tongsheng build. There are mainly two reasons. First one is that since the Tongsheng stock kit does not come with a bolt meter, I need to buy an external one. But don't worry because I plan to do it. The second is simply that, for reasons related to this pandemic, I'm not in Paris right now, where my Tongsheng bike is actually located. But hopefully, I will come back soon. To stay tuned with my next experiments, if you haven't done yet, you can hit the subscribe button with the bell icon, so you won't miss any future video. Also, if you like this kind of content, feel free to hit the like button to support my work. If you have any suggestions, as always, use the comment section down below. And that's all for today, guys. Have a great day, and see you on the next one.